starting the stream. Friends, happy Friday to you all. I can't believe it's Friday already again. I can't believe it's Friday already again. I can't believe it's Friday all over again. We got the burner. We got Dylan James. We're about to engage in musical flames. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Oh, here we are. Folks, the time has come for us to rock like sweet beasts of the night and of the day. Dennis Charles in the house, he's the first one here. Dennis Charles in the Howie house. Dennis Charles is the first one in the house. We are like Maddie K, Maddie K, Maddie K, hey, 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 hey. I like that kind of talk. <laughs>
That's an old tune from back in the day. We have yet to record that one. That's thing called Monster Mode. You know, back when I was a lad, I was a tall, gangly warrior of the night. And when I would get wild, when I'd have a drink or two, they'd just call me Monster. And hence came the Monster Mode, which would be kind of lighting spinach to Popeye. It was the fermented beverage to Old Raid back in the day. Things would get a little out of control. Can you dig it? Should be the Green Monster mode. Well, you know, the Green Monster was one of my favorite malt liquors back in the day. It was a be beverage called Hoffenreffer, which was actually, Ryan, made out in your neck of the woods. I did a little research the other day, and I thought, whatever happened to the Green Monster, the Hoffenreffer? They always had a little puzzle on the uh, underside of the bottle cap, and they were 16-ounce malt liquors, and you got a six-pack of that, and if you made it through that six-pack, I'm here to tell you, friends, uh, you were shit-faced from the Green Monster. The Green Monster, Monster. Yeah, that was out. That was out there back in the day. Oh, Creed is being asked for by four four two Mike. Yeah. Let me take you higher. There's nothing wrong with anything. Uh, yeah.
Can you dig it? That's a brand new ditty heard here for first time. First here, first time. That's a brand new one. Uh, that's a brand new song heard here for first time. Creed. It's called Creed. Hmm? Uh, I'm in the mood for a melody. I'm in the mood for a melody. I'm in the mood. Did you hear that? Wow. An upbeat version of an old Robert Plant song from the 80s. Robert Plant. Uh, that was a new one. That was a new, a new jam. Big log. There we go. Remember that one? Uh, My love is in league with the freeway. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I saw Robert Plant on that tour. That was a good one. Mrs. Bucko. We haven't done that one in a while. We could probably do that one. Say what?
That's still in James Cock and those doggone drums. Can you dig it? Say what? Dig that? Can you dig those kind of activities? Can you dig those kind of pro? Thanks for all those tips out there, y'all. We appreciate that. We appreciate the tips. We're gonna spend it on tacos. There's so a dog on Mike Slaminski, D. Murphy. I see you out there, and I feel the power. Yow. You're the, you're the, you're the Univibe is going, yow, 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 yow. Of course, Maddie K, always a steadfast compatriot. We appreciate you. Maddie K, we appreciate you. Maddie K, Maddie K, Maddie K, we appreciate you. Maddie K. We got a new person in the house named Piss Lord. I'd like to give a shout out to Piss Lord. When I wake up in the middle of the night, I too am the lord of the piss. I walk down the hall with great aplomb, thundering as I go with a bladder full of brine, ready to be unleashed on the Milwaukee municipality. To coagulate with all of my neighborhood stools and to soon to be malorganite. Malorganite, da do malorganite, da do malorganite. Uh, we're gonna do a new song. Let's try that. Let's try that new tune. I made a little cheat sheet for Matt. I did something very strange today, ladies and gentlemen. I made a little cheat sheet for Maddie, but instead of writing down the chords in normal like letters, I decided for whatever reason to put them down in numerals. Uh, for I have no idea well, why. Numbers, Roman, numerals. Roman numerals. Yeah, I did them in, in Roman numerals. You know, you know why I think I did that is because I transposed this song from its original key, and for some reason in my mind. I thought, oh, I've transposed it. So therefore, I just have to write down the numbers. That's so weird. There was no key either. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? Burner does speak Roman. He's a gladiator of old that's been reincarnated to join us here in Orange Room to engage in a great phalanx in battle against uh, uh, the Gauls. We're going to Gaul. We're going to have Gaul. We've got the burner with us, you all. He was Basius Maximus back in the day, and now he has returned, thundering forth the low end instead of beheading the mutantry back in the day with his mighty sword and shield. Wow. Wow. Sword and shield. Uh, this is a song that Fleetwood Mac did back in the day when uh, Peter Green was in the band. Patergrin, as he was known by no one. Patergrin. And, uh, but we're doing it in the key of C. John Radonovich, you powerful son of a bitch. Midnight Molly gave us $10. Dylan's cool, she says. He is cool. Dylan is cool. Dylan is cool. Thank you. 
getting it funky. What can you see? Lord, if there isn't much to tell. Lord, I'm going downhill. That's right. I blame myself. Cause I've been jumping at shadows. And thinking about my life. Now everybody Lord, they point their hand at me You know, I know I'm just a picture Of what I should have been Now I've been Jumping at shadows While thinking about my life I go and sing. You know that devil, he's been getting at me. He's got me down again. Now I've been jumping at shadows and thinking about my life. Can you dig it? Jumping at shadows. That song was actually written by uh, a guy named Bus Duster Bennett, I believe his name was. Duster Bennett? Yeah, he was an English guy. But uh, yeah, that's a good little song. And Fleetwood Mac did it. That's on that live record they did in Boston. That original incarnation of Fleetwood Mac, um, they were. They were rocking. They had that song, Your Love is Like a Foot. Your Love is Like a Foot? I don't know if I were... It's pretty amazing. It sounded like that third blues album. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, good question. I saw this online the other day, and I, I failed to answer it. Someone wants to know, are you got flat wands or round wands on there? These are round. They're round. Yeah. Round wands. <laughs> round, round strings. The burner's got some round wand strings. The burner's got some round wand strings. What? The burner got some round round string. The burner. Ooh, the burner. The burner's got some round round string. Burner. Burner. Folks, um, uh, you know what, Craig? We'll, we'll work up a uh, we'll work up one of those uh, Rory Gallagher songs. I was thinking about doing that. 
um, I have to find keys that I can sing them in. And just like that, that tune, that last tune we did was usually in, in uh, G, I believe. And now it's in C, which is better suited for activity. Um, can you dig it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How about some Derek Clempton? Oh, we could do it. Can we do that one? Okay, we do it. A one, two, three, four.
That felt good. And if it feels good, diggity dog it, you better do it. If it feels good, diggity dog it, you better do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <sighs> yes. David Fuller says Dylan is superb. That's positive reinforcement for the rhythm section. Ladies and gentlemen, we had some nice comments about Burner getting it, Dylan getting it. Um, uh, Mick Bradster is saying, mere mortals of the foolish persuasion. Ooh, you like that. We had that one kind of locked, ready to go. We could definitely do that one. We're not afraid of it. Uh, we're not afraid of that kind of activity. Today I'm using, of course, my uh, Reverend Signature Gristle 90 with my Fishman Fluence. Mm, Gristle P90, this one's in the three-tone sunburst. And I'm going into that uh, Tone King Imperial. Actually, today I'm, I'm not using an overdrive pedal. I'm just using the amp and using the volume control on my damn guitar. Uh, I've got it tuned, uh, turned up. I got it on the 67 setting. So I turn it down. Get some nice clean. I turn it up. It sounds all piggy. It's all juicy. I am using the attenuator today. I've got uh, the attenuator one click back, so it's not quite wide open. So I'm sparing us. I'm sparing us all just a little hair.
Can you feel that? That was something called Foolish Mortals. That one goes back to the 90s. We used to play that jam. We recorded that. The version we recorded was pretty epic. It's on the Strat's Got Your Tongue. And that goes back to 1994, I believe. And 1994. 1990. Oh, Chicken from Hell. We'll have to work that one up one of these days. Chicken from Hell. Octocopter music in the house. Toby Lee Marshall. Marshall Lee Toby. Toby Lee Marshall. Marshall Lee Toby. Marshall Lee Toby. Marshall Lee Toby. I like what you've done. I like it all. We're going to do a song right now, another rock song from back in the day. This is a song called uh, When Were Those Good Old Days? And it's about kind of a uh, popular theme with if you can remember certain aspects of your youth, you, you weren't there. <laughs> what do they say if you, uh, if you were there? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes back in the day, play some Rory. We don't know any Rory with this lineup. I, I, we'll learn some Rory, though. We'll learn some, Rory. There's a couple of them I'd like to do, uh, but we got to work them up. We haven't worked them up yet. But uh, do love some, Rory and Gallagher, if you please. <laughs> Rory and <in> my... <laughs>
you dig it. When reminiscing, something is missing. Where? In my brain. When reminiscing, something is missing. In my brain. Thanks for all those tips out there. We appreciate it. It helps bring the heat to you every Monday and Friday. Hey, how we it? Friday, hey, we how we it? Uh, Friday, hey, how we it? That's right. It's good for you. We played a lot of jams today for the kids. All kinds. Of... Thank you, Paul McEwen. We appreciate it. We Neva's in the house. 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 Say what now? Neva's in the house. Neva's in the house. Neva's in the house. Muddy Waters, we can do that. Bargadoo, gadagadoo, conco, conco. You ain't got Can't lose 
what you never had. Lord, can't lose what you never had. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? That's a song called You Can't Lose What You Ain't Never Had. I think it's important to say that, to do that. Ooh, I, I see some requests out there that we might be able to put in the wheelhouse. <laughs>
That turn of the burner on the doggone bass. How about that Dylan James Kuchenheimer Schmidt on the doggone pick poop pedal attack to cuddle? And I'm Gregory Stephen Cock Esquire here in beautiful Orange Room. We were live today here to April. What, what is it? April the 12th. The 12th. April 12th. Someone was asking me if I was using that uh, OD818. No, I'm just using the amp today for overdriving. I've got the uh, power amp section cranked and you have the. Uh, I have the uh, attenuator click back one, and uh, I'm just using the volume control to get my cleans and turn it up, and I want my damn filth. Can you dig it? Uh, Eric Gale in the house. It was. <laughs> Hope you have a good night. Uh, Turner, are you playing tonight? Are you, play are you playing somewhere tonight? Oh, he's going to his food truck. Yeah. He's got a food truck. What's the name of the food truck again? Peja Vu. Peja Vu. It's going to be up in uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, thank you, Ryan Fitzsimmons, for doing everything that you do. Ryan Fitzsimmons. Um, can you dig it? Do you have food truck social media? Do you have... Yeah, Peja Vu on Facebook. Peja Vu on Facebook. You can check it out. Uh, Ryan Fitzsimmons is on his way to a casino gig. We're on our way to the gym. We're going to go pump some iron. Dylan, what are you doing tonight? I don't know. He doesn't know yet. You never know what's going to happen. We had a very eventful week last week. We went to a Brewer game on a Friday. No, we went to see uh, Strangelander on Friday. Uh, we went to the Brewer game on Saturday. Sunday, I played with the, the boys over at uh, Ope Brewing. And then check this out. I went to a... Uh, Bucks game all last night. Was that last night? That guy goes by so fast. Was it last night? Or was it the night before? Oh, holy shit. When you can't remember because of so many activities over the Bucks game was awesome. The Bucks there one time. All right, folks, have a good one. We'll see you later. Uh -huh.